Hey guys, I'm John from WatchSpec.com. Today I'm bringing to you the Burnley, a very exciting watch from Melbourne Watch Company. This video is going to hit just the key points. I have a written article over at WatchSpec.com. Check it out. It's going to have so much more detail about this watch than what I will have in the video. I will leave a link to that uh, below in the description. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications so you don't miss any of my content. And let's go ahead and get started. The Burnley is actually my second interaction with Melbourne Watch Company. Uh, the first was with the Port C model. Um, at the time I received this Port C, it really opened my eyes to the brand and I was very pleasantly surprised. So Melbourne, you know, they didn't start that long ago, but they really strive to deliver high quality timepieces at a reasonable price. You know, I, their mission statement mentions they want to bring the charm of Melbourne and, and build that into their watches uh, and deliver watches to watch enthusiasts and to casual owners alike. And, you know, it's, they've impressed me, honestly. As with all of Melbourne Watch Company's models, each watch is named after a location or landmark in Australia. This watch is named after Cape Burnley, which is a small yet beautiful coastal town in Western Australia. And this watch is designed to mimic the simplicity and beauty of that town uh, with this very elegant dress watch design. So let's take a closer look at this watch. I want to talk about the movement. This Burnley is applying the Miyota 9015 automatic movement. Miyota, being part of the Citizen Watch Group, produces this caliber out of Japan, and it's considered their premium automatic category of movements. It has been referred to as the Japanese equivalent to the Swiss ETA 2824-2 that is so widely used. It's also been considered a workhorse of a movement, and I have to agree. One of the big benefits of this movement is its slim profile. It comes in at only 3.9 millimeters thick, which allows you to design a much thinner watch overall. This operates at eight beats per second for a nice smooth sweep. It offers a 42 hour power reserve. It has a unidirectional winding, which means it charges the mainspring only when rotated clockwise. And you may notice the free spin of the ball bearing rotor in the counterclockwise direction. Regulation is possible. It's hackable. It offers hand winding. There are 24 jewels included in this movement. Accuracy is officially reported by Miyota as plus 30 to minus 10 seconds per day, but in my experience, you will see much better accuracy than this. The watch I have for this review is operating at about minus six seconds per day. And finally, a date complication is included in this movement. Let's move on to style. There's a lot to talk about here. Melbourne Watch Company labels this Burnley as a quote unquote modern classic. Honestly, that's a very fitting label based on the shape and overall design. So let's break that down. Starting with the case, it has an angular 316L stainless steel case with that integrated bracelet design. This design has been used by many brands throughout history. This is where that classic side of the watch actually begins. This case has a brush finish on all sides with the exception of a polished edge where the sides meet the top. Not so classic about a dress watch are the larger 42 millimeter diameter and 48 millimeter top to bottom height, though it is able to maintain a very slim 10 millimeter thickness. Again, based on that movement that's applied, these dimensions add a strength to the look without losing that classy appeal. This fact coupled with that very cool and geometric bezel is what adds that modern flair to this classic shape. So talking about the bezel, it's quite interesting. It's a two level bezel, the top being perfectly round and holding a brushed finish. The lower level I will refer to as a rounded octagon. This is polished to a mirror finish. The bezel design in itself is very cool and it adds a hint of flash, which adds some of that modern touch that I mentioned. This case does include crown guards, though they do not need to extend very far off of the case to protect the slim crown. The integrated bracelet design adds a downward angle at both the top and the bottom where the case meets the bracelet. This helps the bracelet blend in seamlessly to the case as if the case were a link in the bracelet itself. This downward angle also fits the bracelet to the wrist perfectly so the bracelet has no kink at the location where it meets the case. It's a very continuous look. 
The back of this case is also very cool. It has an exhibition window style backing. This back plate is held down by the use of six small screws. The best part of this is you can see the movement inside. Not only is that the heartbeat of the watch, but Melbourne included that beautiful rose-colored signed rotor. I think that's a fantastic touch. Let's move to the dial, which is also a fantastic blend of the classic and modern elements. Starting with the main disc, the blue finish that Melbourne chose is not only a sporty and fun hue of blue, but it also contains light vertical brush texture, which is definitely one of the most exciting and eye-catching elements on this entire watch. The way that this disc catches the light and changes the color and look of the entire watch is just very impressive. The hour markers are also affected by the play of light. These are applied stainless steel rectangle shapes, but it's the finishing and the angles that were put on these markers that are so impressive. The sides and the tops of these markers are a brushed finish where the angular surfaces are polished to a mirror finish. The 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock markers are slightly wider than the rest of the hour markers and contain a strip of white loom added to the top surface of the marker. Other items on the dial, there are small white tick marks along the outer edge at every one minute or second. Below 12 o'clock, we have the Melbourne Watch Company logo. I do wish that they would remove the words watch company as they are so small on this and I feel the dial could have been a bit more clean if they removed those. It's a very minor complaint. Above 6 o'clock, we have Burnley in, printed in white and automatic in red. This red accent is bold and contrasts the blue dial. It's another exciting and modern dash to this classic design. There is a date window included at 3 o'clock. It is trimmed in polished silver to match those hour markers. I should also mention that I am showing the blue version of the Burnley here, but it is also offered in a silver dial. That one comes with blue hands. There's a black dial and a green dial as well. Speaking of the hands, the design of these is a perfect fit for the overall theme of the watch. The hour and minute hands are dauphine shaped with crisp white loom filling. The pointer of these hands is cut flat, which is a shape that I really enjoy. The angled polished trim on these just like the hour markers catch the light beautifully for a modern and flashy feel. The second hand is a long, thin stick shape, also polished, and it has the signature Melbourne Watch Company M counterbalance. The crystal on the Burnley is top quality sapphire crystal. It's not only the best scratch resistance you can get, but also the best clarity. This is a flat design that sits perfectly in line with the bezel. The crown, as I mentioned before, is a small, modestly sized crown, as it should be on a dress watch. Melbourne did add the M logo on the outer surface for an extra touch of fun. The band, as mentioned, is an integrated style, oyster-inspired stainless steel bracelet. Not only does the shape of the band integrate into the case well, as mentioned earlier, but even the finishing matches exactly with the case, with the brush finish on the top and the sides, and the polished surface along the edge where they meet. This is a 20 millimeter wide band, but it does flare to 24.6 millimeters where it meets the case. The width and the thickness of this band exudes a sense of strength, but it's sized to be proportionate to that of the case, and I think it works very well. The clasp is a push button butterfly style that gives a uniform look all the way around the wrist. Overall, it's a very nice bracelet. So the overall style of this Burnley, I just really love it. The way all these elements work together is really impressive. As I mentioned, it's a great blend of classic and modern qualities. The shape and overall design follow that very classic dress watch, but the slightly larger size, as well as some of those fun elements like the blue texture dial and some of the polished flashier elements make it a lot of fun and more contemporary. This is not gonna be a watch for the most formal occasions that you can go to, but it's going to work as a dress watch for sure. And those more fun elements will make it easily worn in casual situations as well. It's a dress watch that demands attention and I just really enjoy wearing this watch. Next is usability. The readability on this Burnley is great for a dress watch. Hands and markers have a great contrast to that of the blue dial, making it very easy to read the time even at a quick glance. The clarity of the sapphire crystal ensures that it does not get in the way with any glare or distortion and that sapphire also is going to provide the best scratch resistance. An indication of a good design is that the hands extend all the way to their respective markers. That is achieved by Melbourne on this Burnley model, so there's no guess at which marker that the hands are pointing. 
Loom is included on this, as I mentioned before, which is atypical for a dress watch. But again, this is no ordinary dress watch. This loom not only looks good, but it assists with readability in low light conditions. The loom is crisp white in the light and a bluish green in the dark. It is included in the hour and minute hands, as well as the 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock hour markers. The loom shows up great in the hands based on the amount of loom applied, but there's only a very thin strip on the hour markers, so you can expect that those won't shine as bright. However, it's still sufficient for sure. The date complication included makes this a great option for a daily wear watch, or one where you need to wear to the office. Even though the crown on this watch is small, it's very easy to get your fingernail underneath to pull it out. It does not have a screw down crown, but with the fine teeth designed in here, you're not going to have any trouble with the usability. The bracelet itself, as mentioned, is quite robust. This watch is going to feel very secure on your wrist. You can add or remove links as needed to fit the size of your wrist. And the butterfly clasp is very straightforward and easy to use. The water resistance of this model is rated to 50 meters. You're not going to want to take that in the water, but it's sufficient to protect the watch from washing your hands or getting caught in the rain. Overall, the usability in this watch is great. Next is comfort. You can expect a dress watch is going to wear more comfortably than other watch styles. I mentioned before, this is not your ordinary dress watch, and in this situation, it hurts it a little bit. It's not uncomfortable by any means. It just wears heavier and larger than your typical dress watch. The weight of this is 5.7 ounces or 162 grams. This is a result of the larger 42 millimeter diameter and that thick and wide stainless steel bracelet. Having said that, there are many things that Melbourne did well on this design. I mentioned the 10 millimeter thickness of this. That really helps salvage the size of this watch overall and allows it to slide effortlessly under your cuff. The angle that's applied in the case where it meets the bracelet helps the bracelet contour the wrist very nicely and avoid any awkward pinching or pressure points. So while the Burnley may not wear as comfortably as some more traditional smaller dress watches, it's definitely still a comfortable watch. Okay, that brings us to value and verdict. The Melbourne watch company Burnley is just a great watch. In terms of its style, it's got that classic design that works so well as a dress watch, but it adds those fun and exciting elements, that modern twist that makes it so flexible. It can easily work as a dress watch, but just as easily work in casual settings as well. That's very impressive in, in how they achieve that. Uh, the movement is that workhorse uh, Miyota 9015 Japanese movement with eight beats per second hacking hand winding, sapphire crystal for perfect clarity, the greatest durability. Uh, the craftsmanship that you get in this is, is evident with the attention to detail and the finishing. And again, Melbourne's, you know, dedication to the customer with trying to deliver that luxurious buying experience, um, offering two, two year warranty, 30 day uh, returns, you know, Melbourne really cares and they put a lot of great things into this watch as a result. The Burnley is currently selling for 850 Australian dollars, roughly $600 in the US. There's no doubt there's a lot of fantastic watches out there. You know, just some examples of dress watches that I've reviewed in the past are the Hamilton Intramatic, uh, the Tissot Visidate Automatic as well. Even if you're looking for something a little more bold like this is trying to do, the Tissot Sea Star, which is a diver, but it's a more elegant diver. You know, those are big brand names and there's, there's no way for me to argue that this is gonna outperform those. Um, but I have to say what, what Melbourne did well in the design of this watch is they set it apart from those a little bit in the, in the design. It's a dress watch for sure, but based on the size and some of those more sporty, fun elements that they added, it makes it more flexible than those other watches, which, you know, those are maybe more dedicated only to being dress watches where this is more versatile. So Melbourne did a great job in the design there uh, to set this apart. And, you know, it's a great build and with great craftsmanship. And for the money, it's, you know, you, you would not be disappointed. If you are interested in this watch for yourself, I will leave a product link in the description below. If you have any questions, I invite you to go over to the written article over at watchspec.com. It has so much more detail than what's in this video. Uh, check that out. If you still have a question, feel free to reach out to me either through my website watchspec.com or by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and sign up for notifications. 
And guys, with that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.